Welcome to the next video in the Space Combat Kit Quick Start Tutorial Series. In this video we'll create a spaceship that the player can fly around in the scene. If you just want to get started, there's a Space Fighter prefab prepared for you. If you go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Demos, Prefabs, Ships, you'll find a blue ship and a red ship that you can use. However, in this tutorial, we'll be making the vehicle from scratch and just adding engines for now. So you can follow along with one of your own imported ship models or go to Space Combat Kit, Demos, Models, Space Fighter, Meshes, and drag the Space Fighter model into the scene. Reset the transform and we'll also break the prefab instance that Unity has made because we don't need that. The first thing to add to a new vehicle is the vehicle component. Go to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat and drag the vehicle component onto the now, in the inspector, there are a bunch of things we can set, but for now, there's only one thing we really need to pay attention to. The vehicle control class is an enum that identifies the type of vehicle for input scripts, so that when you load input scripts onto the player, it knows which one to use for this vehicle. That way, you can jump into a different vehicle and immediately start using a different control script. We've already prepared an input script for this type of vehicle. Before we bring it into the scene, let's create a child game object on our player and name it Player Space Fighter Control. Importantly, the game agent component on the player will search all its child transforms for input scripts. So that's why we're doing this. Now we'll go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Space Combat, Player, and drag this Player Space Fighter Control component onto the new game object. There are a bunch of settings there that are pretty self-explanatory. You'll notice that the Vehicle Control class for this input script matches that of the vehicle we just made so the player game agent will use this input script when it enters the ship. To get our ship moving around in the scene, there are three more components we need to add to it. First, we'll put a rigid body on there. For this demo, the values to put in the rigid body are 1 for mass, 3 for drag, and 4 for angular drag and we won't be using gravity. Next, we'll add an engine subsystem to the vehicle. Go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat, Engines, and drag the Engines component onto the Space Fighter. You'll notice there's nothing to set in the inspector. This is because the engine subsystem is designed to interface with many different kinds of vehicle controllers. It just passes the input values minus 1 to 1 for rotation and translation on the three axes to the vehicle controller. Now for the vehicle controller, we've already got a script prepared for this type of vehicle. Go to the Project tab and navigate to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Space Combat, Space Vehicle Engines, and drag the Space Vehicle Engines component onto the Space Fighter. There are a bunch of things you can set in the inspector here, but the defaults will work fine for us. Finally, go to the player and drag the Space Fighter into the starting vehicle field. By doing this, the player will immediately take control of the ship when the scene starts. Now we can run the scene. 
Immediately, our ship is being controlled by the mouse. We can roll with Q and D, accelerate and decelerate with W and S, and boost with Tab. We're flying, but the ship is not followed by the camera. In the next video, we'll prepare the vehicle camera and explore how we can create all sorts of different camera views for our game.